Hey guys, it's Dalmatian Productions here, bringing you guys another video. Now this video is going to be talking about my childhood in the 2010s. So, this is going to be like another, it's going to be a remake video because uh, the video that I did moments ago didn't get enough views, it didn't get enough attention um, from my subscribers. So, um, a lot of people have been asking me to do a video about my childhood in the 2010s. So I'm going to just start off with the games that I grew up with in the 2010s. So the games that I grew up with uh, in, in on the internet in the 2010s were Webkins, Animal Jam, and that's pretty much it. Um, so I quit Webkins in 2018 and then about a year later in 2019 I left Animal Jam. In Animal Jam I started in 2014 and Webkins I started in 2008. So as for the shows that I grew up with, um, I'm going to start off with Cartoon Network first. Um, so the shows that I grew up watching on Cartoon Network were Regular Show, Adventure Time, The Amazing World of Gumball, um, and yeah. And for, and for the Nickelodeon shows that I watched as a kid in the 2010s, I grew up watching Spongebob Squarepants, The Fairly Odd Parents, um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the 2012 series. Um, I grew up watching iCarly, I used to watch Victorious, and, you know, I wasn't really a big fan of the live action shows for some reason, um, so... And as for retail, um, I've done this multiple times already. Um, so, re so retailers that I grew up in the 2010s were Kmart, Sears, Herbergers, J.C. Penney's, Target, Best Buy, Walmart, um, and that's pretty much it. Though, and my childhood mall is Dakota Square Mall and I will put a link in the description after this video uh, about the Dakota Square Mall so um, so and yeah that that mall I grew up with in the 2010s so as for toys I um, used to play with a littlest pet shop uh, Webkin's plushies, um, you know, a lot of, uh, different toys I used to play with. There was a lot of toys that came out throughout that period. Um, I used to own a lot of construction toys, like a lot of, um, toys that were based on, like, construction companies like Caterpillar, Bobcat, and John Deere, and all those, uh, construction um, construction toys and everything so um, as for media um, I grew up uh, um, I never knew about YouTube until 2014 no but my mom pretty much found out about YouTube in 20 I don't remember when but I think it was somewhere between 2010 to 2012 um, and and so and for Skype um, I've never used Skype in the past. I've recent. I've started Skype in 2016, so it's kind of about four years ago from when I'm making this video. Um, so, and, um, as for movies, I forgot to mention this in my last video. Uh, I used to watch a lot of different movies. Um, a lot of animated films, a lot of great animated films came out in the 2010s. Um, I'm just going to start off with the simple ones. Um, I used to watch um, Cars 2. I'm pretty sure not many people remember that. It's not really a well-known, remembered movie. Um, Cars 2, if you guys don't know, that came out around the summer of 2011. Uh, I used to watch uh, Brave. That's another Pixar film. That came out a year after Cars 2 was released. Um... And a lot of people have been asking me what my favorite animation studio is, and I will answer that question in in a later video. Um, 
And I used to watch Wreck-It Ralph, and Wreck-It Ralph is one of my uh, favorite films to date with Disney. Um, even though my favorite Disney movie is Zootopia, I know Zootopia uh, was a really awesome film. I really enjoyed it when it came out. You know, I, I've seen a lot of films in theaters like uh, Zootopia. Um, you know, I've seen a lot of movies in theaters. Uh, uh, I don't remember some of them, but I do remember some that I used to went to when it came out. Um, the Zootopia was the only film that I remember that I went to in the theater. Um, and and as for Wreck and Ralph 2, I, that was another movie that came out. And I pretty much wanted to go to it when it came out. Um, and as for... Um, Netflix. I really didn't watch a lot of Netflix back then. Um, Netflix wasn't really that big in the early 2010s. Um, pretty much it killed off a lot of... Uh, later on in the 2010s, uh, Netflix became a big streaming service alongside Hulu and um, YouTube TV and everything on it. YouTube TV came out later on in the 2010s, so I'm not going to mention that in this video, but... Um, and as for the video games on the consoles I used to play, uh, the video games that I used to play as a kid on consoles were Wally. -E. I'm pretty sure not many people are familiar with that. That was a game that came out on the PlayStation 2, I believe. PlayStation 2 or PlayStation 3, I don't remember. Um, that came out on the PlayStation 2, um, but there were d different developers. There were not the same developers. That game came out on the uh, p the the Wii, the PS2, the PC, um, PlayStation Portable, I believe. I could be wrong. Um, it came out on the DS. It came out on, uh, I believe, the PS3. I could be wrong. but um, And another game that I used to play was Pokemon. Um, I'm not sure if people remember that. Pokemon, uh, when those games came out, um, I unfortunately rented those games years ago um, as a kid. And I can't remember the name of it, but they were games that were released on the Wii. Um, and there was a sequel to it in 2011. And I believe there was another sequel that came out a year after that. I, I don't remember anymore, but if anybody remembers, please let me know, because I don't remember any of that stuff anymore, so. Um, and the, another game that I used to play as a kid was Mario Kart DS. If you guys know what Mario Kart DS is, it's basically the DS version of Mario Kart. And, um... I was actually really super good with the DS version. Uh, I was so bad at the Wii version. Um, the Wii version was a little bit difficult to do because it required a fucking steering wheel. And, um, and yes. And then another game that I used to play as a kid was the Dog Island. I'm not, I'm pretty sure not many people have heard of that game. That game came out around 2007, 2008. It was made by the same developer who previously developed the Pets series for the Wii and PlayStation 2. Um, the Pet, Pets Cats 2 and the Pets Dogs 2 co uh, games. Um, another game that, another games I used to play as a kid were the Pets, Pets Cats 2 and Pets Dogs 2. Pretty sure not people remember those, but... Um, those were games that I used to enjoy. Those were like one of my favorite games on the Wii um, at the time. And yes, we do still have a Wii and it's really, really old. And I'm surprised it still works though. But it is pretty beaten up now. Consider it used to be new years ago when it came out. Um, another game that, that I used to play was, was Mario Super Sluggers. I'm not sure if anybody remembers that game, but that was a game that came out. I think around the late 2000s. I'm not really sure. I don't remember the, the year that it came out, but um, that was actually a sequel to the, I believe, the 2002 video game um, for the, I believe, the GameCube. Um, um, for the other games that I used to play 
um, Nintendo DS, obviously I used to own a, uh, if you guys don't know, years ago I used to own a Nintendo DS, unfortunately it, I, uh, I couldn't, the reason I quit using it was because the charging port was not working anymore, so I pretty much kept, like, using my sister's, but the R button was broken, so I couldn't even steer, um, so, and, again, the other games on the Nintendo DS were the, I used to play New Super Mario Bros. DS, uh, Mario and Luigi's Bowser's Inside Story, um, again, that was a game that I never finished because I kind of got stuck. Uh, the part where you had to play a mini game with Wiggle or not was a pain in the ass. Um, and they did do a remake on the game, which I'm not going to mention in this video. But, um, so, um, yeah, so I know this video is kind of long, but you guys probably know I wanted to talk about it anyway. Um, so, yeah. Well, guys, it's pretty much going to wrap up this video. Um, I know this video was uh, not expected to be done, but I wanted to remake it because there were a few things that I forgot to mention um, in this video. So, anyways, guys, that is pretty much going to be it for this video, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, everybody.